Hello, this is Dirk Young from Boris FX, and someone here on the Creative Cow forum has posted a question, 3D object filters, um, asking how using them in After Effects, um, how best to link the rotation, the 3D rotations and 3D position of the extruded or 3D object to an After Effects null object. So um, it's, it's actually possible that in the initial webinar for this product, the process was a little harder then and a little different than it is now because we've added some features to make it a little simpler, or at least one feature. Um, so I'm going to update that now with this new movie here. So um, here's my, uh, my, my extrusion there. I'm actually using BCC extruded spline um, to create that 3D object. And create an After Effects null here. And I want to make that a 3D null, checking this box. So I'm going to type an R on the keyboard to expose the orientation and rotation parameters for that null. And back here in the filter layer under transformations, I'm going to Alt click on rotate X, rotate Y, and rotate Z, which is going to add um, expressions for those parameters. Um, I'm going to just show only animated parameters here so that we can um, see everything in our screen capture space here. All right, so that's this is a one-to-one. -one. So rotate X just goes to X rotation, rotate Y goes to Y rotation, and rotate Z goes to Z rotation. Now, here's the, um, the sort of potential gotcha with this, this part of it is if I, if I move this window out of the way, I'm working here with two monitors and so it's a little shuffling around. This tool defaults to setting orientation rather than rotation. Um, but we can't actually use orientation because in After Effects 3D layer, it's always a single um, parameter with three numbers and for plugins, you're not able to do that. So rotate X, Y, and Z are separate parameters. So we actually are linking rotation, not orientation. And so when you use this tool, it's important that it's actually set to rotation, or it will seem like um, it'll seem like it's not working. So I have it set to rotation now, and so I'm able to you know, rotate on this axis, this axis, and this axis, and it follows correctly undo those changes. So we're set for rotation. And we'll just close these up. So position, if I type a P on the keyboard, position by default for an AE 3D layer is three numbers and a single parameter, but we're going to right click on that and choose separate dimensions to break that apart. And back here, rather than position X, Y, and position Z, I'm going to use pre-rotate position X, Y, and pre-rotate position Z. So I'm going to Alt-click here. And so it's added expressions for those. Is this in my screen capture space, hopefully? So um, first let me do pre-rotate position Z. Now this used to be a little tricky. Um, I'm going to link to Z position here. Originally, um, we were using absolute and they were using pixel values, so you had to like divide by the width of the comp here at the end of the expression, but you don't actually need to do that anymore. All you need to do is check this checkbox right here, match position Z to comp. Um, if you didn't have the checkbox selected, then that divide by width of the comp method should still work, but it's obviously this is a simpler way to go. Um, so that is position Z, and so position Z, if I grab my selector tool, should be working already, it seems to be. Um, now, X and Y. The, the, the trick here is that pre-rotate position X, Y, um, you know, a 2D coordinate point in, for the plugin is necessarily um, a single parameter with two values, but here we have two separate parameters. Um, but what I'm going to do is link the plugins X, Y just to the X. And you see it shift. That's wrong because it's applying X to both values. <clears throat> and the way you can correct that, or the way that, that I tend to do that, is you see down here it says temp equals, it defines this variable, and then it says temp. temp. So it's using the same variable twice. But what I do is I redefine these as 
x temp, that's temp x. I call this temp y. I'm going to call this one temp x. And you see this. So now this is saying, um, you know, this comp layer null 5 transform x position. So now I'm going to copy this whole line. And I usually do a carriage return here and then paste it again. Um, and then now what I've got to do is make this Y and make this Y. And now I should, I believe, get X and Y movement. Create a little more space here. So that's Z, X, and Y working. And if I go back to my rotators, those are all three working as well. So that is how you would do it. Or that's at least the best way that I've come up with for linking the um, 3D objects, 3D values to, a, uh, to an After Effects and All object.